It is my favorite. Well, I say that every time. Technically speaking, if I'm being fully transparent, Wednesday is not my favorite day of the week. Friday is. <laughs> but it, it's, it's still good, though. It's still good. Anytime I get to hang out with you guys, it's a good thing. All right. I am trying to make sure I am up here. I'll fill everybody in. I'm sure you're realizing that uh, this is not my normal surrounding. Okay, I have Facebook up. Let's see. Um, YouTube Studio. Studio. Okay. Oh, there I am. So I think I faked everybody out um, earlier because I got on a f for a few seconds just to check my connection. Um, if you are on, say hi. I, I, um, I see that there's a bunch of people. Oh, there is Beth. <laughs> You're not late. You're on to, I was late. <laughs> oh, it's snowing like crazy, Beth. Oh my gosh. Hi. All right. So let me just give everybody a, a brief a rundown of what we're doing tonight. So my name is Darlene and I'm with Featherweight Doctor and I am located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. We live in the Redmond, Washington area and we have a second place over in, outside of Sandpoint, Idaho. It's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Um, and we've had a place here for a long time, but recently my husband's been signed up for a new type of satellite service as part of a beta program for a while and we finally got our equipment emailed to us so i am literally on high speed access coming to you from my travel trailer in the wilds of northern idaho technology is amazing i've got my buddy over my shoulder here rogue is rogue is exhausted from the six hour trip that we had today white knuckling over the passes in the cascade mountain range so i'm going to say hi to a few friends real quick and then we're going to get rolling on um on our content for tonight tonight we are doing our quilt as you go project we are midway through the winter solstice uh we have completed four blocks we have four more to go and tonight we are talking about the joining instructions for those people who want to go ahead and start putting their blocks together i'm going to hold off and wait but I'll, t I'll tell you why in a moment but let me let me just say hi to a few friends and then we'll get going hang on all right let me see here okay so beth did you ever get the motor look look at the motor on your 221 i um i had another idea after we hung up so I, we might need to chat <laughs> ray is not here today it's just rogue and i my executive producer is asleep on the job and Lisa's on from Arizona. Hello, Joe from Mississippi and Bonnie Pelton. Hi, Bonnie. Miss Quilt as you go herself. Uh, Debbie is in uh, on from Kentucky and Kathleen from SoCal. Hi, Jen Jen. <laughs> and Deanne. Oh, <laughs> Debbie, I freaked you out. Why did I freak you out? And Nancy is on from Lake Stevens. Carol Smith. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Sylvia from Los Angeles. I don't think I've seen your name before. Thanks for saying hi. I'm Darlene. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Bernadette is on from Ontario, Canada. And Lisa from Texas. Uh, Sandy um, from the New, New England area, but now she's in Florida. She's doing the winter visitor thing. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for saying hi. Oh, thank you. I'm so looking forward to a weekend off. You have no idea. Working on the brushes. Okay. That was exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. So it sounds like your husband is on it. Super. And Julia. Hello, Miss Julia. You see, <laughs> you guys, it was supposed to be seven this morning. Seven degrees. Single digits. So my husband pulled out all of the... Um, <laughs> oh, minus, oh, minus degrees tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> so we have all of the heaters going. It's actually really hot in here. I feel like taking my turtleneck off. <laughs> Hi, Brenda Stewart. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I did just do a quick little check-in uh, earlier because I needed to make sure that my connection was strong. Hi, Missy from Redmond. Take care of Redmond for me, okay? But you're in charge while I'm gone. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you have paid your entrance fee into winter solstice, 
you got some instructions emailed to you last night, if you have not received your instructions, send me an email and I'll re-forward them on to you. It's, we're basically making strips uh, in order to connect the blocks together so the dimensions are in the email that you got. <laughs> camping, what camping trailer did you get? Oh, so Judy, we are in a, um, a I think it's a 1994 Prowler. I don't know the manufacturer and it's um it's just a regular travel trailer it's not a fifth wheel or anything but it has a really nice bump out here so it's really I mean it's just more than enough space for the for the um the two of us I've got a little or technically when Ray comes I guess it's three so I got a little sewing corner and Andy sits you know at the little bucket dinette set and it's it is nothing fancy um, we are actually going to be doing some remodeling in it. As you can see, the teal green uh, accoutrements over my shoulder. We're going to be um, taking all the, the teal out and putting some like the vinyl lux flooring in so that it's waterproof for the snow and the mud and everything that comes with being out here in the in the Northwest. So we are having fun. We are in outside of Sandpoint, Idaho. So um, Sandpoint is north of Coeur d'Alene, so it's the panhandle, basically, of Idaho. And I-90, which is the main um, east-west freeway from Washington, cuts across the panhandle at Coeur d'Alene. We're about 45 minutes north of Coeur d'Alene on Lake Ponderé. Um, uh, technically speaking, we're in Hope, Idaho. It's absolutely lovely here. Very rural. Everybody's so nice, and we love, we love, love, love coming out here. Faye, Faye, do, we don't want to hear that it's 73 degrees in Mesa, girl. We don't want to hear that. Some of us are in the 20s or below. <laughs> I'm coming to see you soon, though. I'm coming back. For those of you who are local to the Phoenix area, I'll be back in um, Mesa, Arizona in just a few weeks at the end of March, first week of April for some classes at a quilter's oasis. The classes dropped this past weekend. So if you're there visiting or if you live in the beautiful Valley of the Sun full time, you should check them out. There's a featherweight class and some quilting classes. <laughs> Sue Marshall, Rogue is definitely not into you. <laughs> He's seven. He takes a lot of naps. <gasps> Sue! I'm in Idaho too, lady, but you're south of me. You're like way, way down. I'm in the panhandle up here in Sandpoint. <laughs> he's very sweet. And he, he's wrapped up in a couple of really nice quilts. Do you guys see? He's, his face is on my true color Tula pink quilt. That's not cool. So I was just over on Instagram and I did not even realize, this is really embarrassing, that it is um, Valentine's Day on Sunday. <laughs> So look what I, I did think I was going to be away for Valentine's Day. So look what I brought for the table. Come on, us quilters, we really need to like make sure that we bring our quilted decor with us to our travel trailer, right? I did this on one of my featherweights, I, I think probably like a year or two ago. And I lost it last year and I couldn't find it. It was really sad. So I'm really glad I found it for this Valentine's Day. Five degrees, Bonnie Pelton, in Illinois. Holy schmoly. All right, you guys. Let's talk about our quilt as you go. Pardon me. Quilt as you go. Uh, Melanie. <laughs> Shorts and t-shirts here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't he darling? His full name is Rogue Nation. He's named after our favorite brewery, which is in... Rogue is in... I think it's in Bend. Isn't that right, babe? Oh, he can't hear me. He's got his noise canceling earphones on. Oh, hi, Elizabeth in Indiana. Cold and snowing in Indiana. Very fun. Love quarterly. Yes, Judy. It's so beautiful here. So I'm just looking forward to being a, their restaurants and stuff are open. So I'm kind of looking forward to going out a little bit. Seattle still is fairly closed down. So <laughs> you always got to take your decorations with you, Beth. All right. So we are midway through winter solstice. I can't even believe that it's already halfway through this project. When I planned this out, it was supposed to be 10 weeks. Um, and I thought, oh, that'll give me a few months to come up with the next thing. And then it, here we are, we're halfway through and I'm already talking about joining instructions. We have four more blocks to go. Um, there's a snowman, a penguin, like a hot 
chocolate mug. Uh, what was? Oh, and a snowflake mug or a snowflake block. I'm so looking forward to it. Oh, thanks so much. So here, <laughs> I love camping, but we can't go anywhere because of the pandemic. I know. We we are, Judy, we have friends that own this acreage. So that's the only way we can do this. And I just see that my YouTube is not receiving enough video. If I glitch out, you might have to refresh the browser. Because the satellite system is not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. All right, let's talk about this before I lose y'all all together. Oh, come back. Just refresh. Okay, I think I'm still up. All right, so let's talk about the blocks. Here is the tree block. Here is the glove block. Here is the snowball block. And here is the winter geese block. Just refresh the browser if I stall out. I, I have a good connection, so. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about connecting these. So there's actually some strips that are involved. So I'm just gonna take two of these randomly because I'm actually not putting mine totally together again. Yeah, just refresh your browser if, um, it, can you guys still see me over on YouTube? Okay, cool. So you're gonna take your backing strip of fabric. So this is a 12 and a half inch strip because my blocks are 12 and a half inches. You, it's the same color as my backing fabric, it's a grunge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, oh, I just realized I need pins and I did not pull pins out. Andy, can you see if I have any pins in my, can you hand me my blue bag? Sorry guys. <laughs> so this is one of those projects that it is way better to pin. And if you know me, you know I am not a pinner. So if I am telling you to pin things, it's important. Um, mm, Hopefully I don't find them by jabbing myself in the hand. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. Good job, Darlene. <laughs> Amazing. The tree one is your favorite. Isn't it cute? I did a, do you guys know that quilt pattern by Elizabeth Hartman? I think it's called Legendary. And it has a Sasquatch on it. It has like 14 trees on it. I did not want to look at another tree for a long time. Okay, so I'm going to go to my lower shot here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see here, this is the back. Let me move my beverage. This is the back of my quilt. So I've taken the strip and I have put right sides together. Wait, where's my camera? There's my camera. I have put right sides together and I'm going to pin this from the front. So I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna move this this way a little bit. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So I'm going to pin this from the front like this. Just going to put like four pins in this run of fabric. Oh, thanks, Deanne. Feel free to share this video, you guys. The more the merrier. Now, um, I should also point out that I did square this block up because I do have you overcut your batting and your backing. I did square this up to exactly eight and a half by 12 and a half before I started with this step. So I have my backing little skinny strip here. The top piece is a thicker strip that you iron in half. So I've ironed this in half, the, the wrong sides together. This is the right side, it's all uh, on the fold. So what I'm gonna do is on my block, 
I'm going to put this, so I've got my backing, hold on, sorry guys, my backing piece here on the back, right sides together, and then I'm going to put my top strip down. I need the folded edge into the, so this is the fold here. I need it into the block. So I'm going to use more pins. You cannot, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot use pins in this project. It's okay. <laughs> uh, my strips, um, Sue Ann, the strips on the back are one and one eighth inches. And the upper strip is one and three fourths inches folded in half lengthwise. Okay, so I now have lots of pins holding all of this together. So what I'm gonna do, let me grab my sewing machine and I'm gonna make a quarter inch seam off the raw edge. If you have a walking foot, you want to use a walking foot. This is not a, um, because your walking feet are always good when you're dealing with, oh, Rogue, lay on the bed. Go lay down, sir. Rogie, go lay down. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> um, walking feet are always good to use on your machine when you have multiple layers of fabric. Because if you start like trying to quilt a quilt without a walking foot, the top layer of fabric moves at a different rate of speed as the bottom and it kind of adds to puckering and tucks. Well, the same goes for when you're doing the joining instructions here. So we are going to use a walking foot. I unfortunately do not have a walking foot. Um, for my, I brought my 301. My 301 is going to live up here at the trailer. So I do not have a walking foot for my 301, so I'm going to use my regular foot. It probably isn't going to look that great. Oh, Mel's on. Hi, Mel. Oh, you thought yesterday was Wednesday? That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let me get my machine. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Thanks. Hold on, little accord adjustment. <laughs> All right, you guys, sorry. Okay. I probably should have tested that out first. Oh well. You guys forgive me, right? Okay, let's see here. All right, so I've got large Marge with me here. She's my big, my big 301. Let's see if I can uh, get this all plugged in here. So what I'm going to show you how I make the seam, and then um, I'll show you how I'll do the join, and then I'll probably jump off at that point because I am testing my luck here that the satellite is going to hold. Hi, Nisha. How are you from Texas? Am I pronouncing your name right? The No, the machine will definitely not be affected by the cold. Um, she's going to live up here. We, we have heat on this, in this trailer year round, even when we're not here so that the, um, water lines don't freeze up. So she'll never be in sub freezing temperatures. Oh, here we go. Threading my needle. Okay, so I have like the completely wrong color of thread, as you can see. Um, generally speaking, you want your thread to match your fabric. So in this case, I would use like a nice baby blue. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, let's see if I can show you as I'm doing this. Look at me, look at me. Ah ha ha. All right. So um, I'm going to run a quarter inch seam down 
this. Where's my foot controller? Right there. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to run over my pins. I'm going to take my pins off as I go. Yeah, this is not going to be my best stitching job without the walking foot. I can already tell it's kind of puckering up. Okay, I'll, I'll, I am probably going to take this apart afterwards, but I don't. I just want you guys to see how the join goes um, so you have a good, oh shoot, my thread broke. Okay. Okay, <laughs> back on top here. <laughs> okay, here. <laughs> no, Large Marge is the sewing machine. Because she's such a beast compared to the uh, featherweight, you guys. She had to get a special name. Reagan actually named her. That is definitely one of the perks of being here on power at all times is we don't have to have our pipes insulated because um, because there we keep, we leave a, t a small space heater in here at all times so we don't have to worry about our pipes freezing and this particular model is a cold weather edition which means that it was insulated for living in these sub-zero uh, temperatures. Okay, so now we have our little strip on the back is attached. You can see here. I'm going to just use my fingers to kind of press. <laughs> to kind of press. I'm like, is, yes, Jeanette, this is my 301. Her name is um, Large Marge. Or Marge. Because I'm not making any kind of comment ab about her, except that she's just significantly bigger than my featherweight, hence the name. And it also comes from Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Large Merge. <laughs> so that's why Reagan, that's why Reagan did it. Okay, so I've got my backing and my backing thing. And then I made one seam. So here's my top piece that's folded. So what I'm going to do, oh yes, I'm sorry. I do have walking feet in stock, Elizabeth. Thank you, Sue Ann. <laughs> do you want a job? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take my geese and my mittens. I'm going to put the backs together like so. I'm going to make one more seam. I'm going to pin first, though. Again, can't pin enough on this project. <laughs> right? I know. Large Marge is enormous. I know. She's a beast. This machine is so fast. I, I'm telling you, I need to be on my toes when I'm using her. Because it is, uh, it'll take my hand off. <laughs> okay. Ouch. That was my finger. Oh, no. Am I bleeding? Medic. <laughs> what is wrong? I'm going to bleed on my project. Hold on. Let me get a napkin. Hold on. That is the thing about a travel trailer is everything is just a single arm's reach away. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sue Ann, I would love to meet you in person. That would be so much fun. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to bleed. All right, so I have my next join. You can see here, I'm just put the bright set, the backs together. I have the raw edge of my backing strip lined up to the raw edge of my um, of my next block, and I'm just going to make a quarter inch seam. Okay. Let's see here. Oop. There, there I am. Okay. This is definitely the big sister to the featherweight. Yes. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Okay, again, this is all coming apart when I can get to a walking foot because this is puckery and it's not supposed to be. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so let me show you what I did. So now I have both of, it's connected from the back seam. Do you see, it's not square because this is what happens when you don't use a walking foot. It's, everything creeps on you. So I'm going to take this apart and fix it. But I want you guys to see the backing. So I have the backing strip and then the batting edges are budding right up next to each other. So you have no overage. Let me see here. Like this. And then all you're going to do is take this folded piece, the top piece, and you're gonna top stitch this down on the on the folded line. And then I usually mirror it on the other side just so it looks intentional, even though technically you don't need to do that. Um, but yeah, that is how you do the join. Um, let me make one more seam here. Mel, nice, you're headed to Florida, lucky girl. All right, I'm going to just do this one more seam just so you can see the finished result here. Good Lord. i to keep my fingers out of Marge's way here. She, my seam a little all over the place. Okay. Again, you're going to use a walking foot for this process. You're going to want to use a thread that matches so that it looks, you know, intentional, if you will. Um, okay, so let me show you what this looks like. All right, so there's our join. Now, again, this is not the right color thread. This is off size because I was using, not using the walking foot. But you can see, this is how you start to put block to block to block together. Now on the Arizona Sky quilt, which was the big, the big quilt that we made, um, we not only had blocks, but our blocks went together in rows. So the idea would be if this was a bigger project and not just a single block, you know, row of blocks, table runner, you would do block to block first, making a row. And then once you have your rows together, then you attach row to row in the same, um, in the same fashion. So there you go. That is our, oh, <laughs> oh, Ray's on. She's linking things. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> I, don't even laugh at me with my camera work tonight, girl. I gave you the night off. <laughs> Would it help to lengthen the stitch? Um, as we join, you could lengthen your stitch. I wouldn't go anything above, Peggy. I wouldn't go anything above, um, the 10 to 11 stitches per inch size, uh, just because you want to have a nice tight uh, join, because you know theoretically that might be a source of weakness if it was a looser weave. Oh, Jen Jen says she has a 201 that she hopes to restore. That uh, what maybe a sister? Oh, to a sister-in-law to the feather. Yeah, a sister-in-law. <laughs> I have a 201 too. She lives in a, in a cabinet though. It's my Meme's machine. Um, <clears throat> so her name's Agnes. <laughs> uh, my, my grandmother was a phenomenal seamstress. In fact, um, she made wedding dresses and, uh, that was where I first got my love of, um, well, of all of this, actually. It was my mother-in-law who brought me to quilting, but I have always loved sewing. And so when the opportunity presented itself to bring my um, my grandmother's machine home to me, I jumped all over it. So I have a 201 also. Hi, Odie! <laughs> all right, guys. Well, uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me and Rogue. Say hi to the ladies, Rogue. Oh, he's like, well, I'm going to come say hi. Hi, say hi to the girls. You're such a sweet boy. <laughs> what is this outside? What is the size of the outside binding? So I cut once your um your ta your table runners all together, Faye. You're gonna just make a. I cut my binding strips to two and a half inches, and then I do the fold at two and a half inches. 
Jeanette loves her 201 too. I don't do too much sewing with, with Agnes. Uh, I should, it's just kind of a pain to pull out the cabinet and stuff. Uh, hi, Kelly. Oh, Kelly loves her 201 also. You guys are awesome. All right. I will enjoy my little vacay. The shop, I have people at the shop working. So if anybody needs parts over the weekend, I've got people shipping. So don't, don't hold those orders because you think I'm not around. <laughs> I hope everybody has a great Wednesday. I'll be back on Friday, probably right here for the sip and sew. I'm working on my Tula pink blocks. Oh, they're up. I'll grab them out. So I finished the one that we made last Friday, and I'm going to be making another one this Friday. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me in my travel trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say I got to go potty. He did. Or actually, you know what he's asking for? D-I-N-N-E-R. Because it's about that time. <laughs> I will have fun, you guys. We'll see.